is a word that most of us have heard, but its meaning and use is often misunderstood. And it's quite a, you know, it's a touchy subject. There's people that are very passionate and anti-fluoride. Um, so we're gonna do our best to make sure. This is just literally the facts. So tell me, Dr. Bobby, what is fluoride? Well, fluoride is a, a natural element. In fact, it's the, the 20th most common element found in the universe. Wow. <laughs> Not just on Earth, in the universe. So it's naturally occurring. And in every single natural water supply in the world, there is some degree of natural fluoride in the water. So it's a naturally occurring element. Mm, very interesting. So where is it found? It's, it's found in the rocks, it's found in the water, water tables. It's a naturally occurring element. Oh, now that you mention it, I remember it on the periodic table in chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> That was a long time ago. The, oh, Dr. Bobby, come on now, <laughs> 10 years ago. It's been a hard life, all right? <laughs> so what are the cons of fluoride then? The cons of fluoride is, from a, a dentistry point of view, there, there's not actually any real downsides to fluoride as long as it's in the used correctly and in the correct dosage. Uh, you know, every, everything in the world is poisonous to a degree if mm. you have it in a sufficient dose. And if you use fluoride the way it's meant to be used in dentistry and then there aren't really any downsides to the use of fluoride. So what are the pros then? The pros, the pros are is that it um, reduces the amount of tooth decay in mm. the population by a massive amount, you know, easily 50%. Wow. It will, will drop the, the, the amount of decay in the, the average population by 50%. If it's introduced in the water as one part per million, but also used in, in toothpaste as well, which is you know, the most common additive in toothpaste is fluoride. Fluoride, and obviously going to the dentist, um, and to the orthodontist, they, you know, you do your fluoride, um, that's, that's really right, tasty. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So we, we determine if a child is at risk of, uh, or extra risk to decay, and we will decide if they could, uh, if they could use a fluoride treatment. And often we'll provide that as a topical application at the dentist, in the dentist chair. Because you can get it uh, over the counter at the pharmacy as well. Yeah, yeah. So there are certainly different ways that you can get fluoride. Uh, uh, we don't have it in the water in cans, but you can get it in toothpaste, you can get it in drop forms, you can get it in tablet forms, uh, you can get it as high concentration mouth rinses. Uh, so there are a few different ways that you can get additional fluoride if it's recommended by your dentist. If it's recommended by the dentist. Mm -hmm. Okay. So most of us should have fluoride to make our teeth nice and strong. As a dental professional, I believe that's the case, and not because people can't look after their teeth, although of course that helps. It's because in our modern diet, it's almost impossible to avoid the real cause of dental decay, which is refined sugars. And that's in just about every single thing that we eat every day. Yeah. So unless we somehow manage to cut that out of our diet, then I think we need fluoride. So if the kids don't have any sugar, then it's fine. You can, uh, you don't need to worry about fluoride. Yeah. But if they have sugar, whether that be fruit or any sort of sugar whatsoever. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's everywhere. Somewhere. You it's, can't it's avoid everywhere. sugar. No, you definitely can. But you can certainly help yourself by watching your diet, being careful with your diet. Absolutely. Try, you're trying not to have a, a grazing habit, you know, so trying to stick to uh, three meals a day rather than snacking all day, making sure that you keep good oral hygiene, that you brush your teeth properly twice a day, every day with a good fluoride toothpaste. So there's plenty you can do to minimise your risk of decay. And minimise if you don't want to ingest it through the water and through tablets and things like that. It's just having That's that right. topical toothpaste. So there you have it. There's lots of pros and cons to fluoride. And as I said, the topic can be confusing and quite controversial. So if you're ever in any doubt whatsoever, make sure to ask the professional team uh, at Sunbird Orthodontics and Dr. Bobby, they'd be happy to help you.